Hello everyone. Um, this, as you can see, is another art subscription box. Um, for those new to the channel, uh, this this comes every month, and um, of course, as you can see, it says Smart Art. And um, for those of you who've been following me for a little bit, I was not able to do anything with the last last with the uh, September uh, Smart Art box. I just I just got too busy, and it was I just didn't have a chance to. However, I have all the boxes, and eventually I will create something with. Um, I will, you know, finish the project and and uh, and that and and show you the results. But anyway, this is the October Smart Art box. Now I did break the seal, but I have not opened it yet. So this is going to be a surprise for me and for you, unless you've seen somebody else on another channel and you know what's in the box. But just in case you don't know what's in the box, let's find out what's in the box. And pretty pretty orange paper. Ooh. That's very, that's very, um, very colorful. Let me see, tilt you up a little bit. Here. That's really colorful. I love these brochures. I mean, I love, I love the, uh, when they have something on the front of it like this. This is gorgeous. Well, to me, I'm not really into this kind of painting. Um, to me, it just looks like, you know, just a splattered mess. But I know it's modern art. I, I can tell that right now. It's modern art. Um, and I know a lot of artists do that. They just throw paint on the wall, it, not on the wall, but on a canvas. And that's all they do. They just throw paint. And sometimes it, and it does look lovely, but to me, it's just, a, it's chaos. But, you know, I like order. <laughs> just like order. I don't like chaos. <laughs> and to me, this just looks like a, a, a mess. <laughs> it just looks like a mess. But that's just my opinion. Um... It is beautiful, don't get me wrong. It is beautiful, but to me, it's, it's, it's not appealing to me. Let me put it that way. It's just not appealing. So let's, anyway, let's see who the uh, artist, if they have featured this, this or master they have featured. And it's, ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. I should have known. I should have known. Jackson Pollock. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And I'm familiar with this guy. I mean, um, he's, he is a modern artist. And I, I'm just not, I was never, his, his work never appealed to me. Let me put it that way. I mean, I'm a more traditionalist, um, like, you know, uh, like masters like uh, Raphael and Michelangelo and um, uh, Da Vinci. Those are the kind of masters I like. Even some of the one that are the impressionists. I like the I like those paint uh, those uh, ma painters too, or artists I should say. Every time I think painters, I always think house pa <laughs> house painters. <laughs> not that that not that house painters can't be artists because I've seen I know a friend of mine who uh, I never saw his garage, but he painted his garage like he would paint a canvas. So. And then when he had to sell his house, of course, they had to paint over it, which was, that's always kind of sad. And I have like a block wall <clears throat> in my backyard, and my husband always suggested that I go out there and I take some chalk. And I, you know, I paint the, you know, I, you know, put paint, chalk on the, on the wall back there. The only problem with that is the chalk will come off. <laughs> and I don't want to paint it permanently because... When we move and we have to, you know, the, you know, we have to sell the house. Or, well, we won't have to sell the house. The, we have to, we rent the house. The owner may frown on that. So, I mean, once upon a time we owned the house. So that would have been different. But we don't own the house anymore. So, anyway, so painting the the the, the uh, block wall back there would not not painting it, but you know, putting char, uh, chalk on it would not be practical now. Even though I would like to. I did tell my husband, though, that I would like to, you know, paint our walls, you know, like a mural on our walls. And he always says, well, I live here, too. So that's out of the question. I think maybe in the next house we get, if I, you know, have my little art studio, I will paint a mural on the wall because it'll be my art studio and I can do whatever I want in it. And my husband is not allowed to come in. <laughs> the cats can, but not my husband. <laughs> anyway, it says here. Uh, Paul Jackson Pollock 
was born on January 28, 1912 in Cody, Wyoming. I went to, I, actually, I've been to Cody. Um, the youngest of five brothers, he was, a, uh, he was a, a needy child and was often in search of attention that he did not receive. Well, that's kind of sad. Um, during his youth, Pollock's family uh, moved west to Arizona and throughout California. When Pollock was eight, his father, who was an abusive alcoholic, left the family and, and Pollock's older brother, Charles, um, became like, uh, uh, oh, his older brother Charles became like a father to him. Um, while the father was living in Los Angeles, Pollock, uh, enrolled in the, uh, manual art high, or in, in the manual art high school, where he discovered his passion for art and was, um, expelled twice before abandoning school for his creative pursuits. During the Great Depression, Pres President F.D. Roosevelt started a program called the Public Works of Art Project. Now, that's pretty cool. One of the many pro uh, programs intended to jumpstart the economy. Pollock and his brother, um, Sanford, both uh, found work in the program's mural uh, division, which would later encourage him to create abstract paintings on a similarly monumental scale. Almost all artists who would later become abstract painters in New York in the 1940s and 1950s when, uh, were, were marked by the experience of the Depression and came to maturity whilst painting in styles influence, influenced by social realism movements. By the 1940s, most had left those styles behind and learned so much from their earlier work. Anyway, um, I'll only read that, that paragraph. I'll hold this steady, or those two paragraphs. I'll hold that steady so that if you want to read the rest of the um, uh, thing, you can. And then here we have at the very bottom, it's the project pointers. And then over here on this page, it's what's, it, it shows what's in the box. And it says, um, cellular, cellular abstract um, acrylic pouches. That's what's in the box. I've never had a, an acrylic pouch. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm not familiar with this. So this is all new to me. <laughs> it's all new to me. So I don't, I do not know. And okay, so we have cellular abstract paint pouches. I guess that's how I pronounce it, which would be these lovely little things. Wow, that's a lot of paint. What we got? Let's see, we've got, uh, looks like vermilion. And then we have, uh, I believe that's, let me see, it's hard to read because it's in silver. Purple. Yes, we have purple. This is the purple. And then we have, um, let me see here, I can't, it's that silver. Makes it hard to, to see, see what color it is. Let me see here. Hold on a minute. Uh, Sorry about this. It's really hard to re really hard to see what color it is with that with the shine from the. Oh, it's not white. It's titanium white. So we have white, titanium white, purple, and vermilion. So those are the three colors I have to work with. Cool. And then we have. Let me see here. We have. Um, abstract set of assorted of eight assorted. Uh, assorted, assorted, assorted tips. Assorted? Where the heck did I get assorted from? Anyway, here's the tips. Well, that's different. Oh, okay. Almost, you know, it kind of reminds me of cake decorating. Because <laughs> in cake decorating, you always have different tips. Now, I am not going to try to do any colors or, you know, show any colors or what it looks like at the moment because of the cut, because of uh, the other art subscription box that I had opened, and it was watercolor paints, and it was all messy. I don't want to. I don't want to get all messy again. And so, anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it on this one. Maybe I will. I don't know. It depends. I don't want to. But anyway, well, well, let me think about. It. I'll think about it for a minute. And then we have um, a Rafael Kirel number four flat and number two round brushes, which would be these two. Always can, never can have too many brushes, so this doesn't have a, 
Usually they have a, this one does, does the other one? That's weird. This one's got, this one's got a little protective thing over it, but the other one doesn't, for some reason. I can't get it off. Oh, can't get it off this one. Well, you can see what, you can see the tip, can't you? I, without me taking this thing off, I can't, for some reason, I don't want to come off right now. Oh, well, that's all right. And then we have this, this brush right here. Hmm. And then we have an Art Alternatives 8x10 canvas. And that's this lovely thing. So, and uh, anyway, so that is all that's in the box for October. And let me see here. I'm debating whether I want to. Well, I've got my, I've got my book here. And I've got my water brushes, so I will, let me see if i got water in this one, yeah, i got a little bit of water in that one, okay, I really don't want to use my water brushes, but, because I got them all, I, I cleaned them off real good, now I'm going to get them dirty again, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and, and uh, test out these colors, okay, because it's just the thing to do. This page is getting a little bit warped. But anyway, okay, let's see if I can do this without making a freaking mess. I don't know if I can get this off. Well, okay, we know what white looks like, so we're not going to do white. We're not going to do the white one because we know what white looks like. We don't. I don't need to do white, do I? No, I don't. Okay, that's white. And this is vermilion. Let's see if I can get this off. Well, how do you get this? Let me see if there's instructions on how to twist these things off. Hmm. Oh, that's... Okay, so up here... I don't know if you can see this, but up here, this is what the, all the things that the tips do. So it is almost like cake decorating. It's the same principle. I mean, seriously, I mean, because all these have got different tips on them, so you get different... Um, uh, what do you call it? Different... Uh, not forms, but oh gosh, what's the word I want? Um, different designs. So that and that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Almost this, this kind of the way they've got this illustrated reminds me of silly string. <laughs> Squirt it out. There goes the silly string. Okay, I'm trying to get this thing open. I would do it in front of the camera, but I'm afraid that if I do it in front of up, oh, there we wait. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait, gently, gently, gently. Okay, let me see if I can. Let's see, I don't know. I've never used these things before, so let me do that like that. And go like this. I want to do this real gently. I don't wanna I don't wanna get too much out because I'm afraid it's gonna go all over. I don't know how to I'm trying to do this without making a mess. This is interesting. Oh, there it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Well that's a pretty color. I'm gonna just do it with my finger. Oh, that's a nice, bright, vibrant color. That's nice and vibrant. Get off my finger. I'm good. This way, I don't, I don't mess up my water brush for right now. I didn't want to really, I didn't really want to mess up my water brush because I got them all nice and clean. I mean, <laughs> eventually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them dirty, but, but I just didn't want to do it. I didn't want. Oops, I didn't want to dirty it up right now. Oh, look at the paint. It's really thick. Oops. The paint is really thick. Is that real good? I don't want it to leak. Okay, and we'll try the purple. Oops. Sorry, I knocked you there. I'm knocking, I'm knocking my subscribers upside their heads. I'm so sorry. There we go. Okay. And then this is the purple. Let's see if I can get this without, without it. I'm trying to get it to come out. I apologize for taking so long. I do not mean to. I'm going to do... Up oh, there we are. There's the purple. I'm going to do a art haul video 
Um, it's not much. I didn't get a lot of art stuff, but um, is that purple? Yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is a really deep, deep purple. Oh, and the paint. I, just do it with my hand. You, you remember when you were a kid, you used to finger paint? That's what I should do. <laughs> I should take some of this and finger paint with it. Oh, that! look at that purple. That is a beautiful, beautiful purple. Oh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Oh, that's nice. I'm not, like I said, I'm not much into abstract painting. But I'll give it my best shot. You know, I'm, it'll give me a chance to, I'm going to have to put some newspaper down or something. Because if I'm going to really get ne messy, I'm going to, oh, what the hey, I've already, I've already, why not go through the whole shebang? I'll just open up the white too. What the hey? I opened up the other two. What the heck? I'll open up the white. As if we don't all know what white looks like. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Oop, a little fart. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to fart. <laughs> there we go. And then we've got the white. And of course, we all know what white looks like. So why is that not just blend it into the other two colors? Make a lavender. There we go. Oops, you're not seeing what I'm doing. That it's drying fairly fast too, because I mean I just you saw me I just put the vermilion down and it's already dry and the uh, white's just pretty much just going right over it, whereas the purple, of course I just just and I mean it's almost dry now. I mean, that's how quick it's drying. I mean, it is almost completely dry. So that's pretty quick. I mean, acrylics are like that anyway. But, you know, <laughs> now i got a messy finger. But anyway, yeah, so it's, it's almost dry. But anyway, though, that's the three colors I have to work with. So we will see, whoops, um, we will see what I come up with. I'm trying not to get my lens dirty or anything. But anyway, so that is the Smart Art Box for October. And I am I'm actually looking forward to doing it. I you know I'm I'm a little leery. Let's see which way did I open it? Okay, just to make sure I knew, knew how to which way to open it. I'm um, making sure that they're all closed real good because I don't want le any leakage. That would be awful. I come back to the box and all the paint's all over it. I, mean, I would I I I, I, I don't I guess I should I could put these on to see what they do but I really don't I don't want to mess them up right now because I don't have you know I, I don't want to mess them up until I start working on this thing but anyway on the back it shows you you know shows you step by step how to do it so this is interesting It says here, it says, choose your subject and remember to keep your design loose and whimsical. Whimsical. So, I don't know, you know, because, oh, okay, I see, I see. This is sort of like a landscape, if you can see it. It is like, this is a lake, this is the sky, and this is the mountains or whatever. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, something I can do, now I can do something like that. Nice and whimsical. Like Now I can do something like that, 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 um... That uh, that makes sense to me. I can do something like that. I don't need, necessarily need to do uh, chaos. <laughs> I don't have to do chaos if I don't want to. That is pretty, though. I mean, I like all the, you know, I, it, it is pretty. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Is when people take bubble gum and they just put it all in one place and after a while it builds up and you get all these all this design. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Dried bubble gum. But anyway, that is the Smart Art Box for October of 2017. And um, I hope wherever you are, you are having a wonderful day. And until next time, um, you all take care of yourselves, behave. Um, and um, since I probably won't be showing you the results of the Smart Art Box until next month, um, Y'all have a nice Halloween for all of the uh, all of you that do celebrate Halloween. I hope y'all have a nice Halloween. Anyway, take care of yourselves. God bless. Bye.